hi hi everyone how are you my name is nature angel and welcome to my channel i just got back from work probably about like 10 minutes ago so not long i'm very tired today but i figured that it would be the perfect day to film this video on how to get into grad school like basically how to prepare you to get into grad school so if you are an undergrad and you're thinking about wanting to become a school psychologist honestly if you are an undergrad or you're not even in school yet and you're thinking about going into school psychology this video would help you if you are already finished undergrad and you want to get a master's now in school psychology this video will probably help you so this should hopefully be helpful to a lot of people and if you're interested in tips in how to get in to grad school for school psychology then keep watching so i'm gonna say six tips that are pretty helpful um the first thing is dealing with your undergraduate degree so i majored in psychology that makes it so much easier because school psychologists you want to be able to do psychology right so that was my major but i know you don't have to have a major in psychology it does make it so much easier if you do but if you don't I think there's just a certain amount of hours that you should have. So let's say that you have a minor in psychology, that should also be fine. Again, this is probably gonna vary like program to program, but this is pretty much what I needed when I was going to grad school for school psychology in Pennsylvania. The second thing is a certain GPA is usually required. So I know that they wanted you to have at least, I think it was a 2.75, but if you were above a 3.0, then you didn't have to take the GRE test. So if you are below, and depending on the program again, you might have to take the GRE. And I took that thing like two or three times. That test was so annoying. So I was so happy when I was going into the program that I applied to and they were like, oh, since your GPA was you know high enough, you don't even have to send in your GRE scores. And I'm like, yes, that saves money. And my scores were not the best. They were like, I don't even know if they were average. I was like, if you look at my GPA and my grades, it's so much better than if you looked at my GRE score. So if you can avoid that, please do. It will save you time and money. The third thing is having strong letters of recommendation. So I think for my program, I needed three letters of recommendation. And in between that period of undergraduate and applying to grad school, I have been a teaching assistant for a couple of classes on campus. I had a phone research job at the research center um, that was on my campus. And I had also worked with greyhounds with dogs. So while that one wasn't relevant, to going into school psychology the other two were because they were professors some of them a lot of them actually had their doctor's degree and i worked really closely with them so they'd be able to give me that strong letter of recommendation and that's what you want someone that's not going to write something generic but someone that's worked with you knows your strengths knows what you're really good at and can talk personally about what you do in a working environment because that's what they want to see right like are you dedicated are you able to get things done do you try your hardest are you motivated all that stuff and someone that you work closely with should be able to provide that information for them and it will make you look stellar the fourth thing prepare for an interview you might not need an interview though because when i went funny story some of the people that got into my program needed an interview and some of the people did not I was one of the people that did not need an interview. I have no idea how they chose if someone needed to be interviewed or not. I really don't. I don't know if that was GPA based, but um, I know a lot of programs do require an interview. I know when I was applying to other programs, I had an interview or at least something where I would go in and they would tell me about the program. So to prepare for that, honestly, I feel like the best way is to look up questions like, 
interview questions and things that you may be asked research really well whatever institute you're trying to get into and really speak from the heart about why you are interested in school psychology because they want authenticity so be yourself and they will see that and i think that will help you five you might need a autobiographical statement so or a personal statement we i don't remember if i needed one for my program like if i go on the site it says that you need one. I don't remember writing one, but I did need a transcript. I do remember sending a transcript and I do remember I had a resume that I sent in. But the funny thing about the resume was I had two. I had one that I would use if I was applying to jobs. And then I had one that I used if I was applying to different grad programs. So obviously I made it look catered to whatever I was applying to. So if I was applying to another job i would talk more about the jobs that i've had if i was applying to grad school i talked more about the school stuff i did as well as the jobs but it was more of a focus on what did i do in school how were my grades was i in any programs was i on dean list stuff like that you know so keep that in mind for the transcript they usually want an official one so you'll have to get your undergrad to send that to whichever program and you know i'll give them all that information about your gpa and the classes you took and the grade you got in that class this is the last thing this is number six and to me it is the most important when you are looking at these grad programs make sure the program is accredited because it will just save you so much possible headache and hassle that you would have to deal with if your program was not accredited and down below i have a link from nasp of the accredited schools in each state so if you are thinking about becoming a school psychologist please pick one of these schools you can break it down like i said by each state so look for one in your state or if you want to move somewhere else and go to grad school there look there but do not just accept any program because it will make things so much more difficult so make sure make sure make sure make sure your program is what's accredited <laughs> all right i know this video wasn't too long but i thought this would be really helpful because while a lot of you here are already in a grad school program i am sure it is helpful for people who are thinking about going into it just what they need or what they should prepare for and I know I didn't have that because originally I was trying to get a PhD. So I had a whole different track in mind and it just happened to work out. But you know, it, sometimes it's nice if you're like, what should I do? What should I prepare for if I really want to be a school psychologist and get a master's degree in it? It's like this. This is some of the things. And like I said, it will be different probably depending what school and what state but generally it'll probably be something really similar like i said this was what i needed when i went to get my master's so if you happen to be going to that same school it would be like the same situation but even if it's somewhere different it's probably still helpful um i would love to hear what you guys had as an experience the ones that are already in grad school what did you have to do to get into your grad program i want to see if it's like pretty much the same or different i would love to know but thank you so so much for watching as always i appreciate you guys so much i truly truly do and this is why i make these videos because you're all so amazing and also i just wish that when i was in school that i had videos to watch of someone that you know was doing this and then they're like hey do this or prepare for this and then i would have felt so much more prepared because grad school is rough working as a school psychologist can be challenging so it's just nice to kind of have that support and see other people go through similar things and have similar minds and thought processes and a similar career so again i appreciate you i thank you so much and i will see you next time okay bye guys